questions. Our first speaker this morning is Doug Shields. Doug is an entrepreneur with three companies under his belt. He likes good coffee, good music, and good friends, ah, and the occasional cigar. The purpose of his speech this morning is to improve his ability to speak with limited notes. He is giving his second speech, the organizer speech, Doug Shields, the key to better relationships, the key to better relationships, Doug Shields. Master, fellow no. Toastmasters, imagine, if you will, that you held a golden key, a magical key, a key capable of opening the most securely locked fortress, the thinnest of wallets, the most tightly closed mind, the hardest of us. What would that key be worth? Well, I've got great news. That key is free to any of us that wish to learn how to use it. The first step in that process is understanding that anything we do in this life is done through relationships. Interesting word, relationship. Relationship, relation, relate. Can we all agree that if you can't relate, there can be no relationship? What we just did is what psychologists call chunking. We took the forest, we chunked down to the trees, and then we narrowed down to one live oak. And at the foot of this oak lies the mystical, the mythical, the golden key that we seek. I'll illustrate. Your customer calls, wants to know where his package is. You can choose to chunk up in the generality and respond accordingly. Well, it'll be there sometime this week. Or you can choose to chunk down into the specifics. Mr. Customer, that package left our facility yesterday afternoon at 2 p.m. It will be there on your doorstep tomorrow morning before was that infinitely more meaningful for your customer? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Second illustration. You're in your home. You notice that your son has left some toys out. Johnny, come clean up your room. And Johnny comes up and asks the six-year-old's question. Why? And you respond with the six-year-old's answer. <laughs> because I said so. <laughs> Was that particularly effective? Do you think by chunking up with little Johnny, you communicated on a meaningful level? Did you encourage him to ask you any future questions that might be even more important? You failed to chunk down. You failed to get into the details with Johnny. Why cleaning his room makes him more of a man, makes him more of an adult, makes him more like you. And what little boy does not want to be like his dad? Third illustration. You're sitting in your easy chair. You're watching the game. Your wife comes in from shopping, and she stands between you and the television, and she asks, Honey, what do you think of these new shoes? <laughs> you look down. <laughs> you look back up at the television. You say, Honey, they're fine. <laughs> Hurt, disappointed, she shakes her head and she walks on. Boy, you really chunked up this time. <laughs> Let's rewind. Your wife walks in. Honey, what do you think of these new shoes? First of all, you reach for the remote and you turn off the television. You've got TiVo. You get up out of your chair. Not only do you look at those shoes, but your eyes drink in the entire ensemble. Understand, she doesn't want to hear about shoes. 
She wants to hear about the entire world. She wants you to validate her. She wants you to recognize her and compliment her. She wants it right now. And being the keeper of the golden key, you are just the man for this mission. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, those shoes positively pop. They match your outfit so well. They bring out the color of your eyes, which I love. <laughs> you are a vision. <laughs> what did you just do? Chunk down instead of chunking up. You got into the details with your wife. You explained to her in detail why those shoes pop, why they look so great on her, why she means so much. In closing, I can only say that it takes just a little imagination, just a little, just a little feeling to create truly memorable moments with those that we love. Using this magical golden key, we can bring new life and magic into old relationships. We can collect the faded, neglected photos of our lives and transform them into true masterpieces that we'll appreciate for a lifetime. Thank you.